Hello, it's Jason Wright, a student associate at St. John's University for the Office of Gift Planning. I'm at Clovis Point Vineyard right now with the Sherbinskis, and I'm so excited for you guys to be here. Thank you guys so much for coming. What interested you into coming this year to Clovis Point? Well, we live on the East End, and we enjoyed our time at St. John's, and we enjoy the idea of coming back and, you know, telling people how much we enjoyed our education that's made our lives really better. Yeah, you know, I have a, just, I have a very warm feeling for St. John's because yeah. it really made a difference in my career, my MBA, and my yeah, degree. Too. You know, just opened a lot of, opened a lot, many new avenues yeah. for both of us. So, yeah, I, yeah. you know, St. John's holds a real dear place in my heart. Yeah. And if you can go back to 1974 or 1989 to other classmates who maybe aren't exposed to the McAllen Society or to events like this, what would you say to them? I would tell them to come. I mean, really, that's part of reconnecting with people that are with your college or your graduate school. You know, I mean, I enjoy I went to the Staten Island campus and it was like a little you know, family. It was really very nice. So, and as Vince, it, for my MBA, provided me, you know, I'm a college prof, and without it, I wouldn't have been able to continue to teach. So I was very appreciative of my education. For you? Yeah, so, similar feelings, you know. Uh, I, I would say to them, if, you know, if St. John's really helped you, you know, come join the McClellan Society and, and try to help the next bit. generation right. Absolutely. Yeah, of students. And, and you financially, know. too, not just showing up Absolutely. at events, yeah, but definitely. You know, know, certainly know. donating. I mean, we definitely plan to help them, help them financially. Yeah. 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 Both of us. Okay. And we think the values that St. John's instills, um, I mean, you know, it's a Catholic university, but they don't really, they're not strictly Catholic. I mean, you don't have to be Catholic to go yep. here, obviously. But, you know, the values they... Very accepting. Is very yeah. important, you know, to us. We feel very... Good. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. Thank you guys Thank so you, much. Jason. I appreciate You're it. Well. Thank you. I am at Clovis Point Vineyard right now in Jamesport, New York, with uh, McAllen Society member Pat Cook. Fun fact, Pat Cook actually just drove from Florida. She spent two days traveling, if I'm not mistaken. You're right. And now you're at this event. Yeah, of course. Uh, something has to resonate with you with St. John's and your love for it that I'm sure you drove up here for other reasons and whatnot, but one of the first destinations back in New York was a St. John's event. So tell me, what does St. John's mean to you and sharing these experiences with your fellow alumni? Well, free booze. No, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's not that at all. You know, we pay for this. But uh, in 19, January of 1968, uh, when I uh, graduated school of ed, uh, St. John's put me on a path to success um I, really re religiously of course uh, uh educationally mm -hmm. and i became a teacher for for 37 years and uh, but always whatever they taught me to appreciate god of course mm -hmm. uh, and to thank god for what i had and um uh, and to be the best education where at that time in 68, people love St. John's uh, graduates. And so I was in life center. And it's just continued. The, the wonderful camaraderie, the fact that we're well, down in Florida, you know, we all get together. I'm not saying that the drinking has something to do with it. <laughs> I'm a rummy. You know. uh, <laughs> but it, it is just wonderful. And I, I love the St. John's spirit. And I, I can see that it's continuing. So thank God for St. John's. And thank God for all of us. And thank God for all of us especially. And just one last question. For anybody who may be hesitant, or on the fence about joining the McAllen Society or getting involved in what St. John's really is, what would you say to them to convince them to really take that leap of faith? Would you want to go to the all the cocktail parties? And then, <laughs> <laughs> but aside from that, you have to give back. Yes. You have to give back. And we give to so many other things. Mm -hmm. and, and this, to give back to the university is the best. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you.
see yeah. that. <laughs> All right, what are you going to do? So I'm with Charles Robleski right now, a uh, McAllen Society member, class double alum of 1963 and 1966. I'm so happy that you're here at Clovis Point. Uh, what a wonderful event. Um, what do events like these mean to you? What's the reason that you come out to these events that we host for you guys? I think because it really brings me back to like a family. Uh, I actually left here for like 40 years and came back and I always felt it was home. And even when I was in Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, I was involved with an alumni group down there. Uh, we had the Insiders program where we brought down students who were actually juniors. And uh, I've always kept in touch with these people. And it's like family to me. And it's a special group. And, you know, I mean, St. John's is different. It always drew from, a, from a, a society of people who maybe were the first graduates from college, like myself. And uh, a, a, basically a background of people who came from diverse situations and that changes it all and it makes you it makes you realize how important it is that other people are in this world and that you can help them out and that we're all the same beautiful thank you so much <laughs> thank you perfect <laughs> at Clovis Point Vineyard right now, located in Jamesport, New York. A fellow McAllen Society member, class of 1958. John, what would you, um, how do you feel about attending these wonderful events that we host for you guys? They're absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, not only here, but in Florida and Naples. Mm -hmm. And marching in the parade for St. John's is a great uh, opportunity. And uh, uh, St. John's basically have done a uh, wonderful job with the McAllen Society. And I wish some of my members uh, would uh, come in and join. Um, the, uh, some of, initially, I was giving a lot of money to St. John's Prep. And I said, well, the McAllen Society needs the money also. And so does the school. So, you know, basically that's where my... Uh, uh, my Your kindness came well sort of yeah, yeah right yeah but you know giving to both is, is the way to go yeah. and we thank you very very much for your generosity and your donation towards St. John's University I know that you're a Floridian you love uh, attending the St. John's events down in Florida so how does that compare to being up here where it's really home it's warmer it's warmer for sure <laughs> warmer in Florida and yeah. uh uh, they do a great job down there. Uh, they not only go to Naples, but, you know, they're uh, basically on the East Coast and on the West Coast. And uh, uh, Susan is just absolutely fantastic, what she does. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Right. Perfect. Right. Take care. Perfect. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Simple. Hello, St. John's McAllen Society. I'm Jason Wright, student associate for... <laughs> The one and only Susan Damiani. Oh. Everybody knows Susan Damiani, the Everybody. director of gift planning <laughs> in the McAllen Society. We're at the Clovis Point Vineyard. Um, thank you to Mark Miss, class of 91, for allowing us to have this wonderful event. And Susan, what is, what is your favorite thing about this event? What makes you, what makes you make this an annual um, experience for the McAllen's? Um, well, first, thank you, Jason, for uh, taking care of our, our marketing for this evening. Um, yeah, it's not what makes it uh, great. I think what I love is the fact that I was just speaking to Mark, and I think this is event about is about four to five years old. And what I love is it means that we're having it year after year because the McAllen Society members really want it and they love it. And, and in January, they're already talking to me saying, are you going to have that event, you know, in, um, at, at Clovis Point? They remember the name. And when everyone was coming in here, they knew Nigel because he always provides the music for us. Nigel Grenton is our director of performing arts. Um, you know, they, they remembered some of the ladies that work here. So it's really, it's almost like this is our home away from home. And that's what I really love about this event. And for people who aren't maybe familiar with the McAllen Society or this annual event that we do in Jamesport, New York, what would you say to them to convince them to maybe come next year and oh, very, join the McAllen Society? Very easy. 
um, you have to come out to this event alone. Uh, it's, it's just, it's so much fun and everyone gets along. It's a great social setting. The McAllen Society is a great social network. So you're giving back to the school. We're not getting it. It's a deferred gift. We don't get it to the end, but, um, you're still supporting the school, but you're also getting to meet so many people. A lot of the McAllen's have made longtime friendships, uh, through their, their membership. So it, it's a lot more than we're just asking you to give back. And um, that's what I think is so great about the McAllen Society. I'm a McAllen Society member myself. Susan, thank you so much. Thank you.